Yep. Wilhelmina has been at it. Two more eggs for the day. Good job, Wilhelmina. Look at them, boy. They having the time of their life. Wilhelmina, why ain't you watching your eggs over there? What are y'all doing? And that's Frankie. Frankie likes to hang around Wilhelmina a lot, and if he can't find him, he's screaming. I know what he's doing now. He's going after the other three. Well, it's almost nightfall, and these little babies are having fun. They ain't babies anymore. They're laying eggs now. We're getting eggs from those guys. We got somebody passing down the road in a tractor. Lots of eggs, lots of eggs. Y'all keep them coming, buddies. And all of these guys are doing well. We probably got one or two sitting in there with some eggs. Let's go check and see. Let's see if we got somebody hiding somewhere else. Oh my goodness, already. We got one egg, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen eggs, I think. Why are you biting me? Why are you biting me? Oh, he just bit my foot. Are you protecting your babies, your girls? Are you? You want me to back away? You be careful now. I had to add a taller little fence here because they kept jumping out and all the babies were running around. So I added a piece here to where we can tie off, keep them from jumping. Let me get this wire back on here. All right. There we go. Let's go check in the tire. That's where they're dropping some eggs too. I bet you they have some in here. Goodness gracious. That's eight eggs, guys. Wow. Y'all just working overtime. We did get to sell some eggs yesterday. Miley put a sign at the road. Fresh eggs and our neighbor called and wanted two dozen. So they went over there and so we got our first sale yesterday. That was really cool. But they got a bonus because I didn't have no 12. I didn't have a carton, egg carton that had for, for a dozen. I had them for 18. So they got two packs of 18. I got so many eggs, guys. And I'm just not in it right now to dehydrate anymore. So we gave them those two for $3 a dozen. So they paid six. For 36 eggs. Mr. Tom, are you paying attention? They're going through their training. Oh, y'all are training. I see. Y'all got to get climbed up. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Yeah. Mr. Tom's kitty crew over there, they training hard too. So we got to get them going. They've been working hard and they're making sure that our property's secure over here. Yeah, they told me about Trixie coming over. So they checking every avenue. They prowling all over the place. They want to make sure that no one comes. Oh, that's a little tactic there. You seen that? Their tactical vest should be coming in soon. A little bit of running in. Keep it up, guys. I gotta go. What are you doing? All those spots on his back is actually blue coat that we put on them. Kind of heal the wound and puts a bad taste in the other chicken's mouth if they want to fight. So this one here needed it. And he's all healed up. She's all healed up. Oh, you tell him. And I hope you guys are having a better day than me. We were going to set up to do a video of, uh... Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to be a surprise. But one of the things I needed was something in my vehicle. So I went and I opened up the hatchback to look for a strap 
that I needed. I started to notice that the inside of my vehicle was a little wet. But I did have some damp things that kind of got me upset. And I figured out what it was. In my hatchback here, I have a I have a CB radio. And I have a K40 antenna that sits right here. I just took it off. And the wire runs in to this groove. And I had it set up to come down here. And then go inside the hatchback. Inside the back. But when I opened it, I started realizing that actually... Oh, that sounds getting in the way. Actually, the wire was coming in and it must have came over at one point and came over this and broke the seal. And since I had an antenna on my car, I wouldn't pull all the way in under the carport. So I would stop right where the antenna was. So I didn't bend the antenna too much more than what I've already done. So it just made this water when it was rain, it would just pour right here. And I'm hoping it was something early because it really wasn't that wet in here, but I had some items that were wet. So, what I had to do was actually take everything out of my vehicle. And since we got it out, we might as well talk about it. Let me show you what I carry in my vehicle every day. Stuff I'm not going to need every day, but I have it. Now, my intention, I know somebody's going to say, well... If you were in a situation that you need to go, you'll never be able to carry or use all this stuff. The way I think about it is, if um, I need one item, I have it. So I can take things out of a bag and put whatever I need in the bag for the situation that's uh, at hand. And um, so let me go ahead and get going on this before the sun goes down and you'll be able to see what, see some of the stuff that I carry. And it might shock you, your eyes might open up a little bit and say how does your car even drive but I'm okay with it so let me show you this hatchback pardon my uh my vest let me get this out of here I'll show you put this down here so in this hatchback it closes this way so I have ample room like for items so the jack and everything it did have a little bit of moisture on it so I dried that up I keep a set of cables um, you got to have a, cape, a pair of cables because a lot of times people don't carry cables in their vehicle and if it's just a dead battery it's something easy that can be fixed. You just have cables and someone to help you. Now you know what that is. And this is a military duffel bag and I keep a, an empty bag inside here in case I have to some of the items that I want to carry or one of the family members want to carry or whatever. I can put it in here. I have ample room. I have extra. Um, I have the ability actually to store items inside something to carry with me. Where I'm not, you know, you know. So anyway, so this door closes, and then there's another door here. How you like my hat? Put that over here. So there's the same kind of door here that goes here, but I have it out here right now drying. I had it in the sun. It was a little moist. It's dry now. I think we're good, so I'll put that back in. But it actually covers. Now there's a little bitty spot back here. When you put this cover on, you can't see any of this, but it gives me extra storage room. And right there I have a United States Mili United States Marine Corps combat tent. And those are neat. There's two suppliers that supply the combat tents to the military. And um, I'm not too sure which one this is because I have four or five of them. And this right here is a tarp. So that gets tucked away right there. It's out the way and not in my way. Was uh, I got it all laid out to where I can actually, actually be able to show you guys. Now one of my gas masks that's inside my vehicle still has moisture in it. I didn't even get that out. I need to dry that up. So I put a little table out here to kind of get things arranged and everything else so we'll go through them and show you what I carry. Now this is my bug out bag. It's actually a get home bag. But I also call it bug out bag because that's normally what people will just say. Um, I'm going to try my best not to have the bug out. Miley made this little handle for it. As I told y'all before I love the Alice packs. They're very rugged and uh, very durable and they last forever. 
So this one is the large Alice pack and it also has the frame with it. And I have quite a bit of stuff in it. Uh, what I did on the back side was actually place a camelback. So this sit, this rides in the back side of my pack. That way uh, when I need water I can fill this up and I have water to drink if I'm carrying it somewhere. Um, I do have a military shovel, collapsible shovel with it. I'm not going to go through the entire contents of the bag. That'll be for another one. I, I have to go through it, so uh, get all my st stuff checked. And I haven't done that yet, but I don't think it affected anything in it. Um, I do have some canteens. I have two of them. I have one on each side. Because you, if you need a container for water, you better have it. Um, there's some D-rings on it, as you can see. Uh, this right here is the back of my car. That's a little medical kit that I carry as well for boo-boos. There's band-aids or anything. Um, I get the American Red Cross. And I, I switched it. You know, there's equipment in here, uh, first aid, that I changed out in here and put new stuff. But I like the pack. Uh, that's the gas mask. This one right here, you can see what I'm talking about. You see the little water droplets? Yep. I got a couple of uh, sealed filters. This one's inside a case. And this one as well, and that's the bag. I'm kind of just letting this stuff air out. Um, this thing that's standing up here, there was one little spot that had some water on it in the box. This is a mattress. This uh, blow-up mattress fits my car perfectly. When you blow the mattress up, you lay these seats down. And once these seats are all the way down, you can lay the mattress inside here then you have a mattress to sleep on i do have a a road sleeping pad you know they don't make these things soft these things are hard but i guess it's softer than the ground but it's not something that's really they're pretty hard these uh this is a spotlight i carry that comes with me and these here i picked up at a um at a surplus store and they're survival blizzard pack blankets so they come to and they're wrapped up and I always carry a pair of boots with me those boots because uh, no telling what I'll have on, on in a day so if something happens I need something to, to wear that my feet are not gonna hurt as much you know I'm gonna put those on just in case I have to um, I do carry a pry bar this pry bar is made by DeWalt and it's a 24 inch uh, keep your pry bar inside your vehicle. You never know if you'll need it. This here, this little bag, is actually my motel bag because I go to a lot of motels. So inside this bag, I have a lot of different little gadgets that I use. Um, this here, let's see here. I got here. I got a number of different things in here. Every bag, I'll have something. A survival kit in a can. Um, fire starter there's some batteries in there uh, this is a uh, compressed gauze uh, where's the other stuff oh, there's another knife and this here is something you know we're in a day that technology is is very far advanced and people are putting in all type of devices that uh that are bugging people's motel rooms and everything else so what i do is i carry this little uh, bug detector and you can put it by a phone and it'll go off at least you can scan your motel room and uh actually be able to know if there's any type of uh, wireless devices or something inside your room you know i'm panicky like that and this here is pretty neat. This is a door jam. Well, oh, they're screaming over there. This is a door jam that I carry with me to the motel rooms. And even though you lock your door, it can still be opened. Um, so if you have one of these, it just makes it a lot harder for them to open it. And it works really well. Them big heavy doors to the motel rooms, they don't budge. And you put this underneath the door and you tighten this and it gets it all tight you could actually tighten it too much and pick the door up so then once it's on there 
no one's coming in there. It'll buy you time in case, you know, just in case. So anyway. It also comes in a neat little felt or velour bag. So you don't scratch it or anything. Cinch it up and put it back in a bag. Tack bar. Tactical food rations. You can see as it says here if they'll focus. Tactical food rations, survival food, uh, water purification, and a bug out box. When you buy the kit, you open it up. It comes with some little survival items, a little survival tin that's in here. And it comes with these tack bars. And I'll show you what one of these tack bars look like. It's ready to eat tack bars. They're tactical food rations. They're like a cookie. It's got a five year shelf life. Um, 2,500 calories. And there's someone else that's done a review of these and actually ate them like for meal after meal. Uh, so you can check that out if you can find it. So they're pretty neat. So you can get them in a kit. This is actually my medical bag. Uh, if you know like Dr. Bones, I think, and Nurse Amy. Um, this is the bag that I bought from them and um, I did stock it myself and it is full of all kind of medical needs um, I have everything you can think of inside here um, and this comes with me I've got some ointments and everything I have also got a uh, tourniquet here got all my scissors and tools bandaging everything I need to get out of most uh, situations. It closes up so it's got three sections. And these bags also have uh, areas that you can put it on your belt. They also have a strap that you can carry it. So that's pretty cool. I carry some Mountain House meals, the dehydrated meals. So I carry two of them with me. That's in my vehicle as well. These batteries rolling around like they're about to fall. There's another empty bag that I have. Another camel bag for someone if they need it. And this right here is a pyramid outdoor cooking system. Uh, it's like a barbecue stove. And you can once you take it out the bag, you set it up. And all you need is wood or something to start the fire. And you can cook whatever you need. So we've gotten through all of this. This is a CB I carry. Now I used to, up until today, I actually had this radio inside my vehicle. That's actually a K40 antenna, if you guys know anything about radios. And it's good to have communication, all sorts. You know, we all have a cell phone, but if something happens that we need to try to communicate with someone, this is a good source of it. If you have them in all your vehicles, you have a base station in your home, then you can actually communicate. And, you know, they don't reach that far, but if you had power that you could actually apply to it, then this will make it reach out a little farther and receive a lot better. I did take it out today. I said I really don't talk on it that much, but I'm going to keep it in my vehicle in case I do need it. It'll be an essential item to my preps. And I just take it out and plug it in. All I have is a, a DC plug-in on the back, uh, like a cigarette lighter plug-in. And all I got to do is plug it in, hook the antenna up, and it's ready to go. Always remember, if you do get a CB, uh, research about SWRs. Um, you need to know to make sure that your SWR uh, is in within range so you're not going to affect your radio or burn anything up. I do have the Luggable Lou. I've already showed you guys this. This luggable loo stays with me. And um, it has a toilet seat. It has the bags. It has some more bathroom tissue. Some blue liquid. And some wet wipes. And I normally carry a water bottle in here. But you know during the hurricane we did have to break this out. Um, okay, so we got that. I do have a life straw bottle that I have as well and this is the item that I was looking for I wanted to add an extra water bottle to my bicycle 
and uh, that's when I found out what was going on. Had a few items wet. Man, it was depressing. This is an old air pump. So if you need air in your tires, get you one of these little Walmart air pumps. They work well. I do have a, another gas mask with filter. It comes in here. It has the um, decontamination kit as well. And I have a filter in that one as well. This here is a Halo Bolt. So this thing works well. And I've actually, it's fully charged, but I keep it in the box. This didn't get wet or anything, so I think it was just a little small drip. And I just got a few things wet. So these are really neat. Yep. And it works because I've used it quite a few times. You can charge your phone with it. You can, um, it's actually a, um, not only a jump start, it's actually an air compressor too, which I haven't used that part. I carry a fire extinguisher with me. And I'm always checking to make sure it's on green. So we're good there. And what I carry in, in here is a biological suit, chemical biological suit. As you can see, that they're they're vacuum sealed in bags and um, they've never been opened another filter so this is a good little spot to carry another filter this is another thing i picked up that just threw in the back seat of my car these shamogs are great those little blue containers right there is just my work related stuff oh, my inspector stamps all that those didn't get wet which I'm glad for that. And this is all some of the tools that I use. A lot of calipers, a lot of gauges, measuring devices. I seen this military can at a, f a flea market in uh, the Ritter. So when I asked the guy how much he wanted for it, he said he wasn't sure because it was full of items so i hadn't even taken this out of my car yet i did take some of the items out which i'm using um he said there's some first aid stuff in there so i'm not sure how much i should charge so i, I went ahead and opened it up now let me show you what's left in here that i've already taken out we got one uh cat tourniquet we got two cat tourniquets I think that's all the ta cat tourniquets because I got I put two on that vest and I have some in uh, medical kits and this here is an emergency bandage this is like an Israeli there, we got some quick clot combat gauze there's another one and this one here is the uh, rolled gauze another one here another one here all of this stuff so I knew how much this stuff costs even the cat tourniquet and I said well I said I don't want to uh, shart you anything I know we're sitting out here in this flea market so you just tell me how much and he said well you can get those cans about $15 so how about $35 does that work and I told him yes. And now it's with me. That's another tarp that I have that was actually inside my car. Now I gotta put all of this stuff back in here before it gets too dark. Inside my car is kind of like my business stuff. Um, yeah, that's my wife's pillow when she rides with me. Here is another, um, there's another Sawyer water filter. And these are my respirators uh, with filter cartridges and inside here is another IFAC kit that I put together I hope you guys can see this because it's getting dark I did hang this little humidifier thing up or whatever you want to call it it actually is to suck in moisture it's called a damp red I just hung it in here so it's still dry so I'll let it do its work and see what we come up with it's gonna it's going to fill up with water here if there's a lot of moisture in my vehicle. 
and this here is uh, what I use for my for my mask so after I've um, finished from an area like I go to a store or wherever instead of just hanging my mask on a mirror or hanging it on the blinker uh, handle I go ahead and stick it in here and uh, it opens up and there's actually one in there now and so whenever I get to wherever I need I grab it because it's already been uh, sanitized I sanitize it for 20 minutes uh, it's called sterilized and the lights start working and it's made by Coral Coral so check those out if you're interested because it sure makes it easier and and you don't have to worry about that mask what are you doing see him on the floorboard he's investigating what are you doing we're not going for a ride now we're not going anywhere right now i got things to do this is something that holds one of my items it hangs underneath your your uh, steering wheel very handy you can get it very fast and inside this door is where I keep kind of like another flashlight got a window breaker in here like that uh, things that I want to grab this is a silky saw and it is the um, pocket pocket boy silky saw and let me tell you this thing cuts some wood I have used it and I enjoy it so I keep that tucked away in, my, in here a uh, couple of little uh, freedom holders that's all sits right here as well this is my visor mount in my car so what I carry I carry this little automatic thing that I can bust a window these are really neat and all of my vehicles have one on their visor I do carry a knife or two here's another one um, this is a handcuff key I'll have that up here another O-Light this one's made by O-Light this is the TUP really like this light and it's actually square on the head but I keep that up here just in case I need a flashlight man I'm a flashlight junkie I have all kinds of flashlights everywhere put that back up there another light here and if you turn this down is where I have my maps I keep my maps here I have a GPS, but I still have extra maps inside my vehicle of my local area. It's a very good idea for you to do that. Get you some maps and put them in your vehicle. Um, keep them with you. There's another O-Light. It's sitting right here. And inside the drawer, glove compartment, I'll carry a um, all-weather tough um, right in the rain pad. I got the pin in here as well and a pair of tactical gloves stays in here and just the other jump got some goggles as well that stays in here earplugs that's pretty much it uh, this is my little gift cards that I got which is pretty awesome it gives me some uh, meals I can go eat at Burger King and Sonic we're so grateful for those cards yeah, this is a headlamp. I keep the batteries out of it. This thing is bright. Got that in here. Oh, got the cologne. Better have cologne, right? I got some aspirin in here as well. There's a number of different things in here. This thing is full, man. My car is always packed with stuff. Now that I've got that antenna wire off of my seal, I think it's going to do it. I still got that moisture thing in there to maybe it'll pick up any moisture in my vehicle. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot more than most people will carry around with them. I just wanted to give you a snapshot of what you can bring and put in your vehicle that could get you by. Uh, it, it, Cause I drive, I am always on the road. So I'm either local or I'm 200, 300 miles away. So I need to have extra stuff with me just in case something happens. So take for instance, if I'm on the Chafalai bridge, and there's a wreck in front of me i might be sitting on that bridge for a long time this is why i have this you never know i bring extra food provisions with me i have another bag as well so i hope you enjoyed the video 
I hope you guys got a little glimpse of what I drive around with and um, I hope everyone's well and I hope everyone will have a great 2021 we can all take a breath it's over with 2020 is gone we are definitely hoping that we don't see the same or if we see more so that's why I always say it is to make sure you prepare prepare for the unknown because you don't know what life is going to bring you um, and you got to be ready for it and if you go on these long drives make sure you get you like a little bag together a get home bag make sure you get first aid um, things that you need in case um, your vehicle breaks down you never know your vehicle might break and you might be in the woods miles and miles away from um, from anyone and what if a vehicle doesn't come down that road so you got to make sure that you have something with you make sure you have heat something uh, to get you by with heat that's what's in my bag uh, but I have a few other items in there as well we'll go through that bag eventually but I got to get all this stuff put up so thank you guys for watching if you haven't liked and subscribed please like and subscribe we would love to have you on the channel I got more of these things coming uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll get another one out I uh, hope everyone's safe hope, hope everyone stays well and always remember to prepare for the unknown and I am sporting the La La Farm t-shirt how you guys like that I'm gonna show you the back side of this mm -hmm. And this is the back of the shirt. So he has all kinds of different shirts to, that you can actually purchase. So I was quite fortunate that. I really appreciate those guys over there. You'd really enjoy their channel. And if you haven't checked out Les with Lone Star Pioneer, check him out. He's got some really good videos that just came out. Are you finished with your training? Are you? No? No, that's not yours. No, leave that alone. Yeah, no, no, you can't have that. No, leave it alone. Leave my stuff alone. Good night, y'all.